Volcanic pumice blocks some parts of the Japan, especially in Okinawa, but they have arrived now in the Tokyo. If you remember, several months ago in summer, I reported about the uh, appearance of a new island, volcanic island, underwater, bursting through the surface, coming at the surface. After a while, it gets a little bit washed, and uh, we know that. There are other possibilities also that there is more volcanic uh, eruptions under the water. We don't see them. But this was what the one that we saw, actually. In real time, I showed you the videos of that. Now in the island of Okinawa, what you will see, Okinawa is not one island. There's an archipelago or something like that. You see a lot of uh, pumice arriving at the seaside. This guy is a lady, of course, uh, is showing us the thickness of this cover of pumice. Pumice is a volcanic rock creating the phreatic explosions when the water is involved and uh, they create a lot of bubbles in the by the expansion of the uh, heated water creates a lot of bubbles in the volcanic rock and uh, they make the, uh, the pumice actually to uh, float on the water as you can see now it floats on the water it doesn't sink it's lighter than the uh, water and a lot of them are now washed to the um, beach if it wasn't the land we find a resource of pumice. They're very good. They're good insulations. You can use them. On the shores, of course, you have to collect them. You have to remove them. And if you're not prepared for that, what happens is that your shores will be blocked. And uh, you will have a blocked shore. At the same time, the water gets murky because there's a lot of uh, smaller particles in that. And practically, uh, the economic advantage will be, uh, you know, neutralized by the cost of removing them, getting rid of them. Well, that is what we are trying to do in Japan, in Okinawa. We are trying to actually get rid of the pumice. As you can see, there's a plenty of it. It's not just a few stones. Look at the texture of this pumice. It's very light. Uh, satellite images show that they're arriving thick and fast into the ports. And uh, when there is no port, of course, that cannot be much big problem. When there is a port, you can see that it blocks the port practically. So we have to find a way to remove it. At the moment, the only way we know is just to bring the machinery. And uh, uh, like a, a spatula, just remove them from the surface, skim the surface, and take them off like the cream of the milk. That's expensive.